Today we have Kevin Webster from Birmingham, Alabama. Hey, Kevin. Hey, John. Appreciate you being with us today. Hey, thanks for having me. First thing I was going to ask you, do you have a studio or gallery there in Birmingham? Uh, I have a studio that I paint out of my home. I have a studio set up downstairs and really enjoy that. And uh, actually represented by a gallery in town in Birmingham. They're okay. at Jennifer Harwell's Art Gallery and in Atlanta at the Sportsman's Gallery. How long have you been painting? Uh, I've been painting most of my life, uh, as far as I can remember back kindergarten. I only started taking it professionally uh, when I was in the military as a combat artist. And uh, now I retired about four years ago, started painting the wildlife. Spent about seven years, in my last seven years in the Army art program, painting for the Army combat scenes. Uh, now what's your medium? What do you, what do you prefer to paint in? I uh, prefer oils. Uh, dabble in acrylics a little bit, but mostly oils. Are you, are you painting full time now? Uh, I guess I'm putting about 40 hours a week, but I actually I work at the police department there in Homewood. Uh, <laughs> never, never retired, but then I, I come home and I do. I put about 40 hours in front so of me. So you usually got every, two full-time jobs. <laughs> As, uh, I actually I enjoy my my regular job, but the arts really, you know, it's it's not like a job. It's more right. an enjoyment and relaxation. So I guess yeah, I guess you could say I put about full time. And uh, tell me a little bit about what, like, where do you get your subjects and things from? Do you, do you, do you use photographs? Do you go out and, and shoot uh, pictures? Both. Uh, actually, we've been up to Montana. We, we go up to Montana in the fall or in the spring. Uh, last year we went up in May. Uh, take a lot of reference pictures. Uh, you can just ride down the road uh, in Montana and you're going to see white tail or mule deer on the side of the road. So pretty much anywhere you go there. Anywhere you go, you're going to see it. Uh, we had a scene last year that was beautiful. It was actually a dead deer on the side of the road and there was a bald eagle. First time I'd ever seen a bald eagle in the wild. A bald eagle sitting on top of the, the deer. I mean, it was, it was gorgeous. That awesome. And then he just took off a full wingspan. Uh, and it was beautiful. And do you do commission works? I will. Uh, I've not had any commissions on the wildlife yet. I've done commissions for military subjects. <coughs> and I've seen me. some of those. They're uh -huh. really, really good. Uh, but uh, yes, I, I, I take commissions. Okay, and just real quick, tell us a little bit about this. Uh, you were telling me earlier about this uh, painting, painting per day, or it was something you were... It's actually the daily painting craze. Is, uh, I found out about it in January. Uh, there's a gentleman out of South Carolina that started a daily painting movement back in 2006, and it's taken the art world by storm. Uh, it's where artists paint a small painting every day, try to just to practice their trade. Right. Uh, they're simple little six by six paintings, then they post it on a blog and may sell it on eBay or through galleries. And uh, they're affordable, they're, they're, they're affordable, small and affordable. And it's like, you know, it's where people that want to collect art can actually afford to collect art and the right. artists are making money at it. Uh, so if you type in daily paintings, you'll find all kinds of daily paintings. Well, I want to take it to twist. another notch. Yes, you made a twist on that. That we want to call it Daily Paintings Gone Wild. Uh, encourage other wildlife artists to do it and because uh, it's a great movement and you can actually practice smaller wildlife paintings.